Hi guys, I'm Noah from Tata Soul and today I'm going to show you how to make DIY felt food uh, like little toys to play with. I made it for my baby uh, and everyone really really liked it on my Instagram stories. You can check out my account too, just saying. And I'm going to show you how to do it today. All you need is some felt, scissors, glue, maybe thread a needle, it's optional and you can do it just like I do. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with the tomatoes. I'm cutting circles with red felt. I'm using my little tool. It's very easy to cut circle with it. And you can also use scissors, of course. And I'm cutting three circles for one tomato slice. The middle part of the tomato is going to be just a red circle, but on the top we're going to add the details. So you take one circle and you draw four triangles on it and the angles should be soft, not very sharp, so it will look more natural. And after you finish drawing, you can cut them out. I'm using my small scissors for that. You can shop them on my shop. <laughs> the link is in the description box. And you can also find there more embroidery supplies and embroidery kits and patterns. Okay, now that I have my um, cut slices, I'm going to put some glue on the side that has the pen marks and I use my all-purpose glue and I just put it over the red circle. Now I'm going to add the tomato seeds with what I believe is called dimensional acrylic paint. And it doesn't have to be the perfect circle, make it believable. I have this round shape Velcro tape and I thought it's going to be fun to play with if uh, the pieces can be um, stick together and then you can uh, make your own sandwich. I'm going to put some of the pieces on the other parts of the sandwich I'm making and on the tomato slices that I didn't put velcro on I just um, added another slice that have those uh, four triangles and make it look like a real tomato from the two sides. Let's make some pasta. This one was so much fun to make because it looks so real. I'm using it looks it looks white but it's not white. It's like a natural color felt and I'm using my zigzag scissors to make a few stripes and they are about four centimeters which is about one and a half inch and then I'm going to cut them with regular scissors to pieces which will be about two and a half centimeters which is one inch so one inch on one and a half inch I'm using an embroidery thread and I'm splitting it to use only three strings of the thread. Then I'm making a few knots in one side of the thread and on the other side I'm threading the needle. Now I'm going to sew the middle of my pasta. I'm folding the rectangle like an accordion and I'm going to stitch about a centimeter, which is a quarter of an inch. It's only two or three stitches right in the middle. I'm going through from one side to the other. When you get to the end, make a few knots. Yeah, my son is here to help me. Um, so make a few knots. I'm going to show you another method where I'm not using stitches but I'm using again glue. So I put glue in the middle and then I used some clips to hold it. And you know what? It worked just as fine and they both look super cute. Let me show you the glue one 
and the stitched one. So use whatever method you're comfortable with. Okay, so let's make some basil leaves. I don't know why I don't have the footage and where I cut them, but as you can see, I already did. So I cut the leaves and now I'm just going to glue the bottom part and it will just give it a nice leafy shape. Very easy. And here I'm using my glue gun. Well, actually it's a Bosch glue pen. Okay, so it's time to make the bread. First, I'm going to cut about um, three or four pieces of felt for each slice of bread. And then I'm going to draw a piece of bread on the top one, and then you just cut them all together. Now use different shade of felt and cut slices um, that will be about two centimeters and it will go around the piece of bread. Now what I'm showing you here is three um, kinds of glue that I used. I used the all-purpose glue in the middle, um, a bit uh, more sticky and a dry quickly glue on the right and on the left I used again my hot glue pen. I have to say that I really enjoyed using the one on the right because the all-purpose glue it was too liquidy and I felt I, I felt <laughs> and I felt I needed something um, a, bit, a little bit more sticky and uh, that will not move so quickly and because all my hands were getting very very uh, sticky and I didn't want the whole piece of bread to have lots of stains and um, the bad thing about the glue pan on the left is that hot glue is so much fun but it can be a little bit annoying because this pen has a, a very bad battery it um, just ran out very quickly and I needed to I needed to wait to finish my piece of bread and also I don't know it was just less the outcome was less beautiful in my opinion for the for the liquidy glues in the middle and on the right, I did use some clips to make it hold together while it's drying. So here we are a couple of minutes later. The glue is already dried and I'm taking off the clips and also cutting the end of the stripe that went around the piece of bread. And I think it looks very real and cute and and I can't wait for my son to play with it. Okay, we can't really have a sandwich without cheese. So I'm going to cut squares and I'm going to use two pieces of square for each cheese slice. And I'm just going to cut a few holes in each side and then glue them together. But pay attention that you're not making the holes in the same spots on each side of the cheese. I was running out of glue here, so I used a few um, kinds of glue. I also used fabric glue. And after you glue them together, you can cut the edges to make them even on all sides. And that's it, you have very cute slices of cheese. Okay, I had to make lettuce. So <laughs> I'm cutting um, three different shades of green for each piece of lettuce because I think it's gonna be cool and then you need to draw the lettuce kind of shape it's very hard to describe how it looks like but you can try and copy my doodling after you draw your beautiful lettuce you need to put it on top of the other pieces and just cut them all together
Now you need to take only the top part and draw some kind of stem. It should look um, a little bit like a long arrow. And then you need to cut it with space. So the other color of the felt will pop in the middle. Now glue them on top of the other. I used three pieces of felt for each lettuce. And you can also add the Velcro like we did for the tomato and the slices of bread. And your sandwich is already ready. After I made the cheese, I had two pieces of beautiful round yellow circles and I just had to make an egg, don't I? <laughs> so I'm taking a piece of white felt and I'm just drawing this weird bean shape. First glue both of the white pieces together. To make the yellow circle pop a little, I used cotton wool and I just pushed it beneath the circle and then just glue it on top of the white felt and also, of course, glue the yellow to the white. for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to check out all my videos and tutorials and you can also check the little bell to get notification for every new video I'm uploading and I will see you guys in the next video bye